Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan Jarris and I've been on Etsy for six and a half years now. I've done about $1.3 million in revenue. I live in Southern California, but I'm from Minnesota and I'm married with two kids and Etsy has really become a family business for us and a vehicle to financial freedom, mostly by allowing us to invest in a lot of real estate. If you like my videos, um, I would invite you to please subscribe. You can click the little bell below so that you get notified when a new video comes up. It really means a lot to me and encourages me to keep making more videos. So a lot of people have been coming to me with the problem of trying to grow their shop, trying to get views, trying to get visits. They're just not getting traction, right? Certain product types can actually make it easier for us to get traction, to get views, to get visits um, just by the nature of the item itself. And if you are looking at expanding your product line on Etsy, if you're trying to think of what else to sell in your shop, I recommend looking into some items that can get you some really good and really free marketing. Now in my course, the Multi Six Figure Etsy Blueprint, I give you seven types of products to have in your shop. Now that lesson, that's all for my students, right? That lesson is one of the 67 lessons within the course. But today, we're gonna talk about just one type of item that I think you should really consider including in your product mix. And this type of item is a highly photographed item, highly photographed, by your customers. So the reason for this is nowadays, people are not messaging everyone they know when they find a new product or something that they like. They're not messaging everyone saying, oh, I found this great, amazing product. You should try this. Here's the link. No one's doing that. Instead, they're sharing photos of things that they like or things that make them feel or maybe appear more like their ideal self, right? This is the front that we put on on social media. So photo sharing is a much stronger form of communication and influence than words alone. Alone. If you include in your shop products that are highly photographed items, you are going to see the benefit of this through organic traffic. You will feel the power of influence and you will see much faster growth organically if you include these types of items in your shop. So I don't like to waste time, no fluff, we're gonna jump right into it. So number one, the number one idea would be mugs, cups, wine glasses or accessories that go with you know a tumbler or some kind of a drink right a drink accessory these special mugs or cups or tumblers or wine glasses um whatever it is you know maybe a cup koozie type of thing these things make people feel good about themselves and it's funny because they tend to photograph them so whether they're going to the gym whether they're waking up early watching a sunrise whether their kids are just running circles around them and they're overwhelmed and it's their coffee mug they take pictures of these drink devices, right? There's one particular type of drink cup that is on fire right now and it is totally untapped on Etsy. Now I gave this idea to one of my students because whenever I have ideas, I give them to my students. I'm always thinking about their businesses, whether I'm, you know, in the shower or on a walk getting the mail. Like I'm always thinking about their businesses and different product types that they could use in their shop. So I'm not gonna mention this specific type of product because I gave it to one of my students as an idea. But just know that mugs, cups, wine glasses, that type of thing, that's something that's highly photographed and it would be something worth having in your shop. Number two, wedding day, bridal, get ready with me types of things, okay? The bridal, get ready with me time, that's a, that's a time that's highly photographed. It's usually photographed by a professional photographer. Bonus points for that, right? Because if the customer lets you use those images or they add those images to their product review and they tag you like that's like a huge win bridal get ready with me day things like robes slippers jackets matching shirts things with their bridal party little mimosa accessories really cute mirrors or um, toiletry bags things like that day of the wedding like get ready with me type of things number three along the lines of weddings is wedding reception decor people are always taking photos of a wedding reception wedding reception decor the professional photographer for the wedding will likely have photos of this too that your customer will have access to. The next thing is wedding welcome signs. When people get to a wedding, they usually get there a little bit early, okay? And there's usually some kind of a welcome sign. They don't know what to do. They're all dressed up, right? Weddings are a time when people take photos. When guests are going to a wedding, this is a time one of the very few times that they take photos of themselves is when they're all dressed up going to a wedding. And oftentimes they will take a photo by the welcome sign. So wedding welcome signs are a highly photographed item. You are guaranteed to get at least a couple of photos of this from people who went to that wedding. Now the tactics that I teach my students, right? I am all about being scrappy. So what would I do? I would figure out when 
when that wedding was, where it was, maybe see what their wedding hashtag was and follow up. Check it out. See if you can find photos of your items that you sold to the bride or groom in use in their wedding. I guarantee they're on Instagram somewhere. If you do a wedding welcome sign, there's gonna be people who take photos with it. Number five, vases or vases, whatever you call them. Vases are a great item to sell because when people get flowers, right? When they get flowers, whether they get them for themselves or as a gift, a lot of times they will take a photo of the flowers. They don't just take a photo of them in the cellophane wrapping that the flowers were in from the grocery store, right? They arrange them, they trim them down, they put them into a nice arrangement in a vase. Vases are a great thing to sell. Unique vases would be a great highly photographed item. Number six, things that people wear while they are traveling. So things they wear as tourists. While people are traveling and vacationing and they're playing tourist, they're taking photos in this new city, in this new country. So think about what types of things they would be wearing or having in their hands while they are taking these photos while traveling. Something that I thought of that was very popular are those crossbody bags, right? They, they used to be like fanny packs, but now all of a sudden, thanks to Lululemon, they are cool to wear across your chest, okay? Those types of bags, if you look on Instagram at who is checked in at some big, you know, high tourism places like Las Vegas or like the Eiffel Tower, check out those tagged locations on Instagram and look at what people are wearing while they're traveling. People are always taking photos while they're traveling traveling and exploring new places, think about and look at what they're wearing while they're doing that. Number seven is bachelorette party themed ideas. Notice I say bachelorette and not bachelor because not to stereotype, but you know, how good are men at taking photos? Okay. I think my husband has a grand total of about 12 photos on his Instagram after 15 years. Um, so bachelorette party themed items. The bachelorette party is an event. It's something that we plan for. It's something that we buy themed things for, right? We prepare for this and you better believe we're going to take some photos of these cool things that we got from Etsy. So bachelorette themed kind of party ideas, accessories, decor, those things are going to be highly photographed. Number eight, charcuterie boards and the you know accessories that might go on them so i'm thinking like little dishes little bowls those little like cheese knives as you can see i'm more probably of a, like a panda express kind of girl but charcuterie boards right people always take photos of these things they're beautiful wood maybe they're engraved think about all the different components that would go onto a charcuterie board it's almost like a wedding cake people always photograph these things number nine front door wreaths okay People love decorating their home for different seasons and front door wreaths are one of the biggest ways that they do that. A lot of times when people update their wreath or get a new wreath, they will take a photo and share it. It's like the cherry on top of the sundae of their home. It makes them feel good about their home and it's seasonal decor, which is another category people photograph. Front door wreaths are a great, highly photographed item. The next thing I'm kind of leading into that are those kind of kitschy front door mats. Those ones with funny sayings, maybe they're a little off color, maybe they're like slightly inappropriate, but funny. People take photos of those things and they'll take a photo of it right when they get it because they know it's gonna get stepped on and used. They're not gonna take a photo of it, you know, four months after it's been trampled on by dirty, muddy shoes. They're gonna take a photo of it right Right away. So as soon as your customer gets it, that is the point in the transaction, the post-purchase experience that they are most likely to take a photo. Those kind of kitschy, kind of indoor-outdoor front door mats, um, very highly photographed. Number 11, birthday party decor. Now I would say this peaks at about the first birthday, okay? First birthday party decor is going to be your best bet to get photos from this category. Parents, especially moms, really, really make a big effort to plan birthday parties. And you better believe they're gonna take a photo of what they have put together before you know the party starts. Birthday party decor is a really, really great, highly photographed category. But to go along with birthday party decor would be birthday party photo shoot type of props. Obviously, if it's a professional photo shoot, you're gonna get some photos, you're gonna see some photos from that. Number 12 cake decorations, cake toppers, fancy cute candles, things that de decorate cakes, maybe the cake stand. People take pictures of cakes, right? It's kind of like the charcuterie board. Before people cut into it, it is like a piece of art. People love to take photos of these. So get some cake decorating accessories into your shop. This could be for parties, anniversaries, weddings, of course. You could go many different ways here. The next highly photographed category are proposal related items. Proposals 
are a highly photographed situation. Whether they have hired a photographer or they take a photo, like a selfie themselves, there's gonna be some kind of a photo, most likely, that comes out of that situation. So if you sell an item that is kind of integral to that proposal, you have a chance at getting some great photos from that. Number 14, Christmas morning pajamas. I won't say everyone loves doing this, but moms especially love taking photos of the whole family in their matching Christmas morning pajamas. So that's another great item to have in your shop. Just make sure that they're flame resistant so you don't break any of Etsy's policies. Number 15, highly photographed item is Halloween costumes or Halloween decor. People love taking photos on Halloween. You don't come away from Halloween without taking a photo of the costumes. Also spooky Halloween decor that you might decorate your house with. Oftentimes people will take photos of this after they have it all set up. Number 16, new pet items. Okay, people see new pets like new babies oftentimes. So they're going to be taking photos of a new puppy. Maybe they did a pet adoption. Think about like a collar or accessories. Maybe like a pet adoption announcement or like a name introduction type of item for the pet. Maybe a personalized pet dog tag or collar or leash or something. Whenever you get a puppy, you tell the world, right? Whenever you get a new pet in your life, you take a picture. You want to remember that day and you want to share it with the world. This is a highly photographed situation and great opportunities for high margin customization here. Number 17, newborn birth announcements or name announcements or birth stats, that type of thing. You introduce your new baby to the world and you are introducing their name, their weight, their time they were born, everything. These types of items highly, highly photographed. That's how people share that they've had a baby nowadays. It's a photo. We're not sending just a text message. We are sending a photo. This is a great type of product to carry in your shop. Number 18 are nail accessories. I won't show you my nails, but um, people who always have their nails done, they are passionate about it to say the least, right? They love nail accessories. This is something popular and whenever people who are obsessed with their nails do something new and cool to their nails, they oftentimes take a photo. Next thing are rings. People love sharing new, special, meaningful rings. The key here is meaningful. I'm talking about more of a higher price point item, legit real gems. I'm not talking like you know, knockoff costume jewelry type of stuff. I'm talking about like fancy, special, meaningful rings, whether it's like a promise ring, an engagement ring, an anniversary ring, like something, something special and meaningful. People will oftentimes take photos of these and share them. Number 20, bridal shower and or baby shower decorations. Some kind of a shower decoration. People who put together showers, they put a lot of energy into the theme. They don't just pull together the de decorations that are under their, you know, guest room bed. They go all out. They come up with a theme. They execute the theme and they take photos. They, they want to remember the day, especially the mo mother of the bride, maybe the mother-in-law, maybe the grandma-to-be, the new aunts or the sister-in-law. They will be taking photos of this special day. If you sell decorations for these types of events, you will likely come away with some photographs from your customers. Number 21 are items that people wear to weddings. People who are not in the wedding party. So I'm talking about wedding guests because weddings are that one situation where you take photos of yourself. Yes, you take photos of the bride and groom, but oftentimes people take photos of themselves. There might be five times that you get dressed, really dressed up during a year that you really put a lot of effort in and you are gonna take a photo of that. So if you have items that are really great, wedding, guest, apparel, accessories, if you package your items to be great for wedding guest attire, you might come away with a lot of photographs from your customers. Number 22 is holiday decor. Now, I'm not gonna be broad, just say holiday decor. You might think, okay, that's not very helpful. I'm talking about Halloween decorations, right? I'm talking about Christmas decorations. Think of cr your Christmas tree. How many people photograph their Christmas tree? Okay, maybe almost everyone, maybe not everyone shares it, but a lot of people photograph it. What is the number one thing you notice on a tree? It's not usually all the little ornaments. It's usually the lights, it's usually the topper, or it's usually the garland that they've added, maybe garland or ribbon. Those things are gonna be the most noticeable. So if you can sell something that is the most noticeable item that really jumps out on a photo of a Christmas tree, that would be great. Number 23 are banners. Now I'm talking about welcome home banners birthday banners, um, congratulations banners, right? Some kind of a celebratory banner. These types of items are highly photographed. Number 24, our maternity milestone 
photo props. I'm talking about something unique here, not just the generic. You gotta differentiate yourself somehow. A couple years ago, they came out with these tattoos that moms would put on their belly, and they would say, you know, how many months along they are, or maybe what trimester they're in, and these tattoos, they took off, okay? Moms love taking photos of their growing belly. It's just something that we do nowadays. And if you can come up with a unique idea for this, right? Something that's not the same as what everyone else is doing, this is gonna be a highly photographed item. Number 25, kind of to go along with this, is baby milestone photo props. Now, the key here is to do something different than what's out there. You can't just copy what's out there because it's very saturated, right? But it's saturated for a reason because there's a market for it. People know that moms are buying this stuff. So if you can come up with a unique way to display baby milestones, how old your baby is month by month, this would be a really highly photographed item. Okay, I just got through 25 of my 50 ideas for highly photographed items. Now I have 25 more here that I'm looking at and they are good, they're really good. So I am gonna make part two of this video just in a few days later, you will see it. There's some really good high, high price point items in those next set of 25 highly photographed product ideas. So more on that to come. If you are interested in knowing what the seven types of products to have in your shop are, that's all in my course, Multi Six Figure Etsy Blueprint. The interest has been very high, thank you so much, and I do still have some spots open. So if you are interested for your own benefit, I recommend reaching out sooner rather than later for your own benefit. You can just email me, team at dylanjaris.com or message me on Instagram at dylanjaris. I'm over there every day and I'll see you in a couple days with the rest of the highly photographed item ideas for your shop.